Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Wednesday afternoon weather webcast for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. Yes, dressed in the festive garb. I'll uh, have a lot more to show uh, tonight uh, on the news, uh, maybe even an ugly sweater, some socks, possibly. Uh, that could get thrown into the mix, so we'll look at it. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's talk about, though, what we had yesterday. Pretty rough weather yesterday, early this morning. A squall line moved through uh, right around midnight, 1 o'clock. And then another line of storms moved through, came in from the uh, Gulf of Mexico, uh, caused uh, a couple of tornado warnings to be issued. One was a false alarm that happened just before 2 o'clock. Another uh, did not produce a tornado. That was around 3 o'clock uh, for folks in Geneva and Houston County. Uh, none of the uh, activity that we saw around here uh, produced any uh, really serious damage, thank goodness. We did have, uh, though, a couple of reports of uh, some washed out roads and also some trees down. Right now, we're seeing the rain end uh, through the Carolinas going into Georgia, and there's still a lot of wet weather to come uh, for folks in the Florida Peninsula. Let's take a look at the uh, storm reports. Only a handful, four in the entire Wiregrass, a couple near Defuniac, one near Defuniac Springs, one near Florala. The one we're concerned about, the uh, road flooded out near Fayette, uh, Geneva County Road 49, completely washed out and closed uh, due to that flash flooding. Uh, the picture is on our WTBY Facebook page if you want to go check that out. Uh, but uh, some pretty serious stuff there. Folks in Fayette will be cleaning that up. And also some thunderstorm wind damage near Enterprise. One tree uprooted with many scattered limbs down, most likely uh, with winds that were below severe criteria. Uh, and that was it. That was all that we had around here. Thank goodness it wasn't worse. We did pick up a lot of rain. And I said a lot of rain. Uh, we're talking about five, six, seven, eight inch rainfall totals in some parts of the Wiregrass. Uh, just south in the uh, southwestern corner of Houston County, near seven and a half inches of rain. In Holmes County, almost seven inches of rain. Uh, numbers in Geneva County total anywhere from four to six inches. A little less off to our north, but more down to the south and east. Tallahassee actually set a one day rainfall record, just over seven inches of rain in the capital city of Florida. And some spots there picked up anywhere from seven to nine inches. Just some crazy rainfall amounts. But we needed it, and we now are above average as far as our rainfall goes for the month and for the year. So all the rain is done. We still hold on to a lot of cloud cover. We still have the clouds through the evening time hours, but by the overnight, the clouds will clear out and bring in some cooler air. We're already starting to see some temperatures fall to our north, 55 in Troy, 57 in Andalusia. It's still in the 60s and 70s in the south and east corner of our viewing area, 65 Panama City, 69 Mariana, 70 in Blakely, and in Donaldsonville, they're at 73. You see the warmer air still trapped on the other side of the uh, big trough of low pressure in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, but there is some cold air starting to rush in. 40s in Birmingham, Jackson, Nashville, Little Rock, uh, 50s down near Mobile and Baton Rouge. So the cool air will be coming, just going to come later tonight. You see the future cast. We'll show those clouds hanging on for the rest of the evening. During the overnight hours, Santa will have a clear ride around the wire grass as those clouds do clear out. Thursday will be an absolutely sunny day and gorgeous, really. A little bit on the windy side, though. We'll see those winds persist out of the northwest, bringing in some cooler and drier air. More clouds filter in Thursday night, and it gets downright cloudy by Friday as another system approaches, and we'll see more rainfall chances for this weekend. You see future temperatures for tomorrow morning will drop all the way down into the low 40s and upper 30s, I think uh, right near 40 degrees, a pretty good bet for us here in Dothan, and we can be even cooler by the time we get to Friday morning. Temperatures in the afternoon respond nicely with a lot of sunshine, but a little below average, only in the middle and upper 50s, but a pretty nice day overall, all things considered after the really uh, nasty weather we saw the last couple days. It'll be nice to see some sunshine, and even though it'll be cool, make you feel like you're in the holiday spirit. And by the weekend, we are expecting more rainfall not uh, expecting more severe weather. So that's a, a big difference than what uh, we had uh, last night and early this morning to what we'll have this week. And just the rain and likely severe weather will not be a problem. Hopefully everybody has a Merry Christmas out there. No news for Thursday. So we will have the day off. Hopefully you're celebrating uh, with us. Uh, get some good food in your tummy and uh, open all those presents tomorrow morning. And hopefully you have a great Thursday. We'll see you back here, though on Friday. Merry Christmas, everybody.